This is uh, Dr. Cannell, the Vitamin D Council. Uh, a lot has been made recently of what's called the, the U-shaped curve, or studies in which uh, uh, there's increased risk uh, f with both low and high levels. Um, the uh, uh, majority of studies don't show this uh, U-shaped curve. In fact, none of the uh, ecological studies, that is, none of the studies based upon uh, latitude show it. Uh, the only studies that show it is when uh, blood is taken and then it's uh, put in a blood bank for 20 or 30 years. And uh, then those patients are followed and, it, and uh, one then can see uh, uh, what happens. Um, the, uh, the, the, even the majority of those studies uh, do not show uh, any kind of significant uh, U-shaped curve. However, it should be noted that all studies of every kind show that the, the great advantage uh, uh, in terms of, of uh, levels is conferred when people get to go from something like 10 to 20. Um, many studies show an, an increased benefit from 20 to 30, and then some even show from 30 to 40, but it's hard to find a study. In fact, I can't think of one that shows that a level of 60 is better than a level of 40. Um, but this U-shaped curve has everyone concerned. Uh, most of the specialists involved uh, believe it's a, what's called a confounder. It's an unidentified factor, uh, and it has to do two things. It has to injure people. Uh, that's why there's increased risk. And at the same time, it has to raise vitamin D levels. Now, these U-shaped studies, uh, uh, the majority of them come from cod liver oil countries. Um, and not from um, uh, other countries. And the uh, majority of them are from patients who had their blood drawn in the, in the 1980s and 1990s. So if you think about what could raise vitamin D levels in the 1880s, in the 1980s and 90s, um, vitamin D supplements weren't available then other than in a, the 400 units in a multivitamin. Um, um, they weren't uh, dedicated uh, vitamin D tablets. Uh, really, the only thing that, uh, uh, that could do that would be sunshine, and that's accounted for in these studies, uh, and cod liver oil. And so that's why I think it's cod liver oil is the, is the unidentified confounder, and that's why I'm not concerned about these studies. Um, but like everything in science, uh, you, you you know uh, you, you have to make up your mind and decide. If you want to worry about the, the U-shaped studies and then you go off the vitamin D, well, then you need to worry about all the benefits you're missing in uh, uh, all the other areas. So it's uh, you know you pay your money and you take your chances.